Why you wanna let me go? Na na now. Are you saying that you change your mind? For love of Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Amanda from Simply Amanda Lee and I wait and I wake. I do wake every day. I wake. I make <laughs> weekly videos on all things home organizing, cooking, cleaning, general getting it all done and mom life, home projects. So if you're into that style content, definitely think about subscribing. In today's video, we are going to be organizing, restocking and labeling a ton of things around my house. We'll go ahead and get into it and please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy it. Got this boy on my mind that I can't live without Oh, his eyes are killing me And he keeps talking about everything that he likes And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall Mamas, let me know what you guys do for your kids' breakfast every single day. Do you do like more of a continental or do you get up and cook them a hot meal? Dust and I would eventually like to update the laundry room. We feel like we could utilize the space a little bit better, but however, it's absolutely the last thing on our list. We have so many other projects we would like to accomplish before that. However, I want our cabinet space in there to feel cohesive for the time being. Our laundry room is cluttered more often than other areas of our home because laundry is always the thing I let go should we have a busy week or things come up that aren't scheduled. So reducing whatever visual clutter in that space I can is really important. I previously started to create a system. I bought these stackable plastic drawers that I love. I have them in my kitchen. I might also get them for my bathroom as well. I added a Lazy Susan and thought that I could decant my cleaning supplies to look nice in this space, but it's just not really working. Not only does it look sloppy, but I end up scattering my cleaning products upstairs because it's not in a single movable container. So I did think about a caddy, but caddies are typically pretty shallow. So instead I went with an inexpensive plastic bin from Target. I love that it uses is a vertical space it easily is toted around and hides all of my cleaning supplies when not in use What are your staple items to clean your home? For me, I use the Grove right now. I've used them for about a year and I've used their website, which is like a subscription service. And then I also sometimes just use, like pick it up from Target and don't use a subscription service because I get, like I have too much. Um, but definitely let me know what you use because I'm always open to trying new items. This is my spice drawer before. 
it's fine and it functions well. I just wanted a more unified look and so I decided to purchase this kit of 36 spice jars from Amazon. I really like and would suggest this particular one for a couple reasons. The first is that the label inventory is vast. They give you multiple options based on your aesthetic. They include a funnel and marker plus additional labels if you happen to have a spice that isn't included on the list. However, I had so many labels left over and spices I had never even heard of. So likely everything is probably included on the list, but you do have an option if by chance something isn't included. I also really enjoy how easily the plastic tops remove. Usually I just take them off of my spices from the store, but I feel like these have better ease of use. So I decided to leave them on. There's a $3 coupon on the 36 pack right now. So that's probably the best deal, but they also have a 24 pack, which has a $2 coupon and then a 48 pack, which doesn't have a coupon at all. I personally had four jars left over just to give you a little bit of perspective. If you do happen to be using them in a drawer though, check your measurements, but these fit perfectly in mine. The Simply Organic that I showed in comparison to these fits as well, but from time to time it does get caught up when I open the drawer because I have those risers in my drawer. Um, these are smaller though. They fit a more traditional spice amount that you would normally buy, which is 1.9 ounces compared to the Simply Organic, which is three ounces. Can't say no when I'm this free Don't wanna go home when we can't sleep Weather's so nice, only got good vibes Yeah, we're here chillin', chillin' in paradise Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days No clouds in the sky, but I get away Feels like it's been a freaking decade Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on breath Sunny day, sunny day, make way All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today Feels like it's been a freaking decade Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on breath Let's talk about these spice risers and just bamboo in general. I want to get your feel for it. What your thoughts are bamboo compared to wood because I know bamboo seems to be a more sustainable option and these were actually recommended to me by someone else on YouTube. I love the way they look. They work well for all intents and purposes. They do what they're designed to do. I think they're going to last me a good long time. However, I've recently realized that I'm not the biggest fan of bamboo products in the kitchen, specifically products that you use all the time. I think that when it comes to bamboo, you have to really make sure that they are made very well. They're sealed incredibly well because bamboo does not do well underwater. So if it is not sealed properly, and I don't really know what the you know, general guidelines are for sealing of bamboo or whatever, but the more inexpensive ones that I've gotten off Amazon or from home goods have really fallen apart after a few months of hand washing and really try my best to take care of them. So something like this that looks sealed, but you know, it's going to last a long time because you're not actively putting it underwater, but still it kind of has a texture to the surface. So I think personally, if I were to buy this organizer again, I might go with like an acacia wood or just a wood in general. So I have linked both of these in the description, just depending on you know which ones you prefer if you're looking to buy something like this maybe that sort of material doesn't bother you and because they're not going to be run underwater you're just looking for a particular look these work great I do like them um, but I definitely want to include another option for you The next thing we're organizing is my closet under our stairs. This is the second or third project down on the list because this space has so many uses and will continue that way, so it's high priority. Now, sometimes I do buy temporary storage solutions 
based on projects that are really far out we just need things to function better but because this is so high on the list to redo i just didn't think it was wise to invest in temporary storage solutions but i did need our whiteboard to fit in it since we moved our homeschool space downstairs and i'll stick in an image of what we're planning to do with it in the future now this isn't a project that's going to have a magical reveal sometimes we just need to make things function as well as i can for the time being and that's definitely the space in all these photos caught in the memories and captured in the highlights just keep on If anyone would like to challenge me to a game of Bop It, I am always here for it. I still really enjoy that silly game. It's just so fun. Anyways, um, so can you guess what year this cabinet was purchased in? I will give you a hint. It was the peak of the YouTube matte makeup, real heavy brows, real intense, really outlined brows. Uh, the glass was having its resurgence and everybody has glass nightstands and headboards and all that good stuff and I thought that I surely needed one as well or something that was glass. So I bought this to use as a vanity and you're gonna see that later because there's little specks of foundation on it that I can't get off or have chosen not to really try to get off I should say. And we've always, even though you know, stylistically, it's not really my vibe. I have always kept this cabinet because we've needed it in one space or another, even hidden behind a closet or in a closet like it is now. Um, but who am I? Because I pulled this out of the closet and sat it here and I really like it. So what's your opinion? Should it stay or should it go? wait till you see the end to give me your opinion you know when it's not looking like this um, but even dustin like made a point to tell me hey i really like that right there so i am shooketh right now at that um but yeah let me know what you think am i just like i don't know am i just happy to have something in the space or do you think it actually looks cute mm.
that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up until next time.